so ladies and gentlemen, in this example, um, it seems like a lot of students like the slower way because it makes sense, which is perfectly fine. So we will continue with this problem, just doing it the slow way, but to make sure that you guys have an understanding. The first thing we want to do, regard it doesn't matter if this is the cube root, the fourth root, the fifth root, the square root, it doesn't matter. For every single one of these problems, you can rewrite everything as the prime factor as prime factors. So basically, if you're going to break down 16 into its prime factors, you could break it down into 4 times 4, 2 times 2, and 2 times 2. Does everybody agree with me? Yes, sir. So therefore, I can rewrite 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Does everybody agree with that? It's the same thing. That equals 16. It's just now I've represented it as its prime factors. Now, let's write out x to the fourth. And if you guys want to write them out, I mean, that's perfectly fine. It makes, it makes sense. It just takes a little bit longer. But do you guys agree that x to the fourth is the same thing as x times x times x times x? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes? Question? Can you do like 4 times 4? Huh? 4 times 4. Yeah, you can, but 4 is not prime factors. You want to write it as prime numbers. Uh, so 4 and 4 are composite numbers. So you have to break them down further so they're all prime. Make sense? <coughs> then we do y. So now, what I have basically done is I have rewritten my whole expression as a set, as a product, Noah, of its prime factors. Does everybody see that? Uh, yeah. Noah, why don't you turn your desk um, so it's 90 degrees the other way, please? Does everybody see that? Does everybody agree? Noah, All right, I can help you out with that. Here. There we go. Now you can see much easier, right? Good. So what the cube root says is what group, what number multiplied by itself three times. So now you just circle groups of numbers that are multiplied by themselves three times. So now you say, hey, the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2. The cube root of x times x times x is equal to x. The cube root of y times y times y is y. So you can take the cube root of, for the cube root of numbers multiplied by themselves three times. Now what's left over? A 2, an x, and two y's. So I write cube root of 2xy squared. And that's my final answer. Okay? 